So I just showed you the surface aerosol injection, but there's also been some evidence of stratospheric aerosol injection, also known as chemtrails. And I'm going to play this clip. Are you guys hearing me? Do you understand that this is the third or fourth hurricane in a row that the NOAA slider cuts our feed to view the hurricane the day before it hits land? No, this is not a server issue. If you look over here, there's no data past the 15th hour even to select. If I go back here to the 24th, it goes all the way, all full 24 hours of the day. The 25th, now we're already into the 26th and we can see up to the third hour. But if you look at this timeline here, watch this. We see the hurricane, we can see much of the 25th, okay, and then about 1420 UTC, that's the last we see, and then it cuts out, and then it skips 11 hours, and this is where we are now. It cut 11 hours, and during this time, look at the shift, look at this. This is when it went from a tropical storm to a category two hurricane and it's projected to become a category five and directly strike Jamaica. But even for all you naysayers out there, ask yourself, why is it every single time a hurricane is about to strike the United States or Europe, all of a sudden the feeds are cut. And then when they come back online, these hurricanes are significantly more strong. Why is that? Okay, so that clip was actually about the missing satellite data, which we have seen in the past. She uses the NOAA slider for these uh, images, and I typically use uh, the regional and mesoscale meteorology branch, but uh, both of them get their data from the GO satellites, which were actually missing data, again, just like during several hurricanes in the past, including Hurricane Beryl, which did graze Jamaica last year.